everybody and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. Now in today's video I had planned to bring you some uh, crafting of electronics and putting in a refrigerator, but I came across a Bronto skeleton costume. So today we shall be taming or trying again. The word emphasize here is trying to tame a Bronto on our own. Phil's not here today, so this is going to be... Uh, probably disastrous, but a Bronto is probably not as vicious as a T-Rex. So uh, it might be a bit easier than taming a T-Rex, but we're about to find out anyway. So I'm loaded up. We're going to go and have a look and see what we can find. So the first thing we need to do is get... As you can see, I've made some modifications as well to the base. Sorry, I should probably explain that. I was getting fed up with the dinosaurs kept getting stuck in the water down there on those wooden platforms. So I decided I've got to do away with that. And this is what we decided to go with. We've built a big dino pen over there. Which I'll probably show you in another video, not today. Today is all about getting this Bronto. And I want to get it done purely for the fact that while I've got this costume, I want to have a skeleton Bronto. It's going to be my only skeleton dinosaur I've got. So up here we go. And uh, yeah, before this, before this Halloween patch runs out, I want to get this done. So there's normally, there's normally a big old cluster of Brontos over there. What's the technical term for a gathering of Brontosauruses? It's not a gaggle. I'm pretty sure it's not a gaggle. Now this one I think is a pretty low, he's pretty low one, low level, so we're not going to bother with him. But this one over here, which convenient, get out of my way, dickhead. This one over here, which you can't see yet because it's not spawned in, you can just see his legs there. This conveniently, ah, he was conveniently stuck. I don't think he is now, but he was conveniently stuck there earlier. So we're going to land our bird here. We're going to jump off. And we are going to try and trank this beast. We've got 72 trank arrows. I'm hoping that, hopefully that's enough. But here goes. Let's try and trank this beast. Oh, he's aggroed. He's aggroed. Hope, luckily, not on me. I don't think he'll be able to get me from up here. I don't think, anyway. Uh, come on. I feel said I need to be going for the headshots, right? I don't want him to hit my butt. Oh, my God. He can almost get up here. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. He almost put his face right inside of mine. But I don't think they do damage with their mouths, right? They're all about the, they're all about the tail. So uh, I'm guessing this is going to take a little while. Oh, hello. There's his face. Don't. Don't get me up here. Oh, oh, right in the neck. Oh, I've already unicorned him once. Did he hit me then? I don't think he'd done any damage. Oh, he's glitching through this rock. Oh, yeah, that was a good shot. Right in the neck. Right in the neck. So is his head going to keep on glitching through here? Because if it is, I'm going to keep going for that rather than going for the body. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to carry, I'm going to carry on firing darts at this. And um, we'll cut back hopefully when it's uh, knocked out. There we go. We've knocked his ass out. It didn't take too much actually. I've got 17 trank arrows left. Um, I can't remember what I started with now. But for you, it would have just been like two seconds ago. So you'll know exactly how many arrows it took. Um, but it took me not long, maybe... Five minutes, if that, in real time to uh, to knock this one out. So uh, I wonder how long it would take to tame. Now, I believe these take Mijo berries. Um, so I'm going to fill them up with narcotics first. So his Torpor was 6,800. 6, I only done half damage health. Okay, so um, let's get all the Mijos out of my bird. Because that's where I decided to keep them all. I'm assuming this is what it prefers most, so this should do the best. I don't know. I'm a, yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to this game, and I'm an idiot when it comes to every game. But I think, I think I'm doing things right. Oh god, this is going to take a long time though, by the looks of that. So we're probably going to need to go on a massive berry run. Um, oh, my bird's got a recipe there, decorative recipe. It's handy. I didn't know we had that. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to need to go on a big, big, big berry run because this looks like it's going to take a hell of a long time. We've got a good few hundred berries there though, so that should do us, right? I think. Um, so let's just have a look at his stats while we're here anyway. So his health at the moment is maxing out at 2960. 456 on stamps, 225 on auction. That doesn't really matter. Food, wow. That's big. That's a big number. What's that? 18,000. Yikes. Weight tended, that's good. That is good. A thousand. That's what I need. Something like that. Carry all that weight. Melee is not so good at 115. His movement speed is not so good at 100. But that doesn't really matter. So anyway, we are going to cut away once again while this beast tames. It's going to be here a little while. So um, I guess join us shortly for me, but momentarily for you. Something like that. 
I don't know. Things and stuff and transitions and magical stuff happening. Anyway, hopefully by the time you come back, we'll almost have this beast tamed. It's going to be a long time for me, so I'll see you soon. Right, so as it's becoming night time, we're about halfway through the taming process now. It's been about 20 minutes to half an hour in real life time. It's beginning to get dark out here, so what I decided to do to add for a little bit of protection is just quickly build a wall all the way around the Bronto. Now I know everyone's going to say, why the hell did you do that? It's only one high, there's no point in doing that, and you've got a gap there. The gap's for me to get in and out of, and I can guard this. But this is just to stop anything little, you know, like bloody scorpions or dilos just coming in here and trying to kill this Bronto when I'm like, almost tamed it. So I thought I'd just quickly put this wall around there. I thought I'd just show you quickly because I thought it was quite funny. So I just bashed this wall up quickly just to give her a little bit of protection. And um, yeah, hopefully it will see us through the night. But we're going to sit here and babysit this Bronto. I'm guessing it's going to take about another half hour, roughly IRL time. And um, we've not been pestered by anything yet, touch wood. So hopefully it's all going to be good and we're going to help ourselves a skeleton brontosaurus how awesome is this going to be ladies and gentlemen i cannot wait for this and um in the meantime we're gonna to have to think of a name for her so try and send telepathic thoughts back in time to when i recorded this video so for some names that we think we can call this and bearing in mind she is a female bronto so were names beginning with the letter b hopefully anyway we're going to cut back again through the magic wonders of editing and we'll see you shortly. Right, I'm pretty sure this beast is about to be tamed. Oh, I thought it was going to be that feeding. Well, it's not going to take long. I'm pretty sure one more feeding. One more feeding and this big old beast is done. Now, while you were away, nighttime came and went. But during that nighttime, the Dodo Rex appeared. Luckily, I, I thought it was Sod's Law. The one time that I don't want to see the Dodo Rex, it would appear right here and just ruin this tame for me. I honestly thought it was going to happen, but luckily it didn't. So we didn't get to see the Dodo Rex. Still don't know where on earth that spawns in. Um, I tried looking for it yesterday during lagging stream, but I couldn't find it at all. But um, anyway, here we are going to successfully tame ourselves. A Bronto and it's been done, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Done it. We've got a big old Bronto. Now we've got to name this beast. And uh, being as it's a Bronto and it's a female, we're going to call this one Brandy the Bronto. And there's a reason for that. I just about right, didn't I? Yes, Bronto. Um, Brandy, we are naming it because it's B and it begins with B and Bronto begins with B and it sounds like Brandy the Bronto. That sounds good. But also, in, uh, in honor of so the country singer, Brandy Clark, she is absolutely gorgeous, just like this dinosaur. And unfortunately for me, she is uh, she's gay, so I'm never going to be able to get with her. But she's a gorgeous woman. So let's get this beast to, to follow us back home. And then, then we will put the costume on. I do hope, I honestly do hope that after this Halloween patch has, has gone, that they keep the costumes because I'm going to have... Like I say, oh god, don't tell me this thing's stuck in the cliff, no. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, yeah, you got it, you got it, Brandy. Come on, let's go. Good old girl. She's a bit, she's a bit slow. <clears throat> this is going to be a bit, a bit of a trek to get back home, but luckily we live literally just down there, like no more than a couple of hundred yards. It's quite lucky to find that one there, but like I say, there's normally loads in this little canyon dike thing here there's normally loads of animals you can i mean look you can just see now there's there's those things and there's those things and those things and oh, look i'm not a dinosaur geek man i don't know all the bloody names <laughs> phil feels like pretty bang on it when it comes to when it comes to dinosaur names he's absolutely bang on he knows all the names he knows all the pronunciations and he's just a big old dinosaur geek but me bah, i ain't got time to be learning that just let me knock them out, let me tame them, let me kill the ones that I want to eat. And I'm good, I'm good to go. So, uh, yeah, Brandy's coming, she's coming along well. This has been quite a good tamer, it's taken about an hour IRL time, which is not too bad at all, in my opinion. Just a load of Mijo berries, which I didn't didn't really need. Um, and I, uh, I didn't even really need any narcotics, actually. Uh, what are you doing, girl? This other one's got in the way. Okay, okay. You're free, you're free. Come on, girl. Let's take you to your new home. Try on your new costume. 
for Halloween. Now, how am I going to get her into the pen? I think this might be a bit of an issue, getting her into the pen. We shall see. Let's get her over this way. <clears throat> so, yeah, next episode, anyway, is, is going to be, I think, building the elect electric generator. So I can have a fridge so my meat can last a hell of a lot longer. Unless, of course, unless... Ladies and gentlemen, watching right now, there is anything in specific you want to see. And like I say, if, I wonder if she can climb over this wall. If there is something specific that you want to see, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. And I will endeavour to do whatever it is you want to see. Yeah, she could just step right over on this wall. So, brilliant. Right. And we need to have a bit of a rearrange here because everything is just going to be in the way. It's not going to look good. I need to go and get my... I need to go and get my T-Rex saddle so I can move the T-Rex. Out of the way, wolves. You silly wolves. <laughs> See, this, you're getting a bit of a better look now at what I've done with the pen anyway. And done this little walkway here. I like it. I think it's quite good. Dave, you're going to have to move out of the way, mate. This is Dave's little platform here. He's like, a, he's like a door security guard. He just stands there on guard. Whenever I'm not on the server, Dave is on guard on my door. Um, saddle, please. I want the T-Rex saddle. There we go, so I can move her out of the way. Shut the door. Now, to save me walking, I'm just going to go, here, Dave, do us a favour. Yeah, what's it? Chuck me over here. There we go. Cheers, Dave. Nice one. Save me walking. <laughs> There's a little bit of damage, but never mind. Now, let's put the Rex, the Rex saddle on. If I can, no, because I'm not even getting the prompt to. There we go. Server's been playing up lately. Like, There's been a bit of, bit of server lag and issues with that. Cool, yeah, she is a slow-moving girl because she's got so much weight in her. She's, um, Lucy is basically my, uh, my wood-carrying bitch at the moment. She's got nothing but wood on her because we were going through a massive harvest, obviously trying to get all this stuff here built. And, uh, yeah, she's just a wooden wooden thatch thatch holder. Can we... Uh, yep, don't want to slow down there. Right, there we go. So now, look at this majestic beast. Brandy, you look so beautiful. But... I want to put a costume on you to make you look even more better. So here we go. This is the Bronto costume. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Let's have a go. Do, 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 do. Yes. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that beast. If that is not worth dropping a cheeky like, I don't know what is. Smash that like button for the Bronto dinosaur skeleton. That's absolutely amazing, I think. It looks brilliant. I love it. Brandy, I love you. <laughs> so that is basically it for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, like I do say, smash that like button. And next time I say we're going to be hopefully building some electrics. But unless there's anything in specific you want to see, do mention it in the comment section down below. And don't forget there are links also down below to my boys' channels, Lagging24x and MrPhil91. Please do go and check them out because they are playing on this server as well. There is a chance in the future that some of you watching may be whitelisted to come and join us on this server. We're looking into that to see what we can do anyway. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot for watching everybody and until next time, goodbye.